Hello Algebra, once again we are back, uh, this time with level 6. We've looked at one-step equations, which we're going to do a quick little review on on this notes sheet. Uh, but after we're going to go ahead and we're going to start taking some of these ideas we've been working with and kind of combine them together. Okay, so we're going to see it with uh, two-step equations today. Uh, but before we do that, let's make sure we have a pretty decent understanding of uh, one-step equations and with dealing with fractions. So for example, if we're looking at uh, one-step equations, again, one and two, these are addition and subtraction problems. So again, we do the opposite. We want to get this variable by itself. So for this first one right here, the opposite of adding 12 is to subtract 12. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. And so I'm left with m equals 10 minus 12, which gives you negative 2. All right. Number three and four, this is multiplication and this is division. Again, we think about what is the opposite next to our variable. Uh, we're multiplying by negative seven right here. The opposite of that is to divide both sides by negative seven. So when we do that, the sevens cancel here. We're left with y equals negative 91 divided by negative seven. And off the top of my head, I believe that is a positive 13. We have a negative divided by a negative. Okay. And then moving on to number five, six, seven, eight, looking at these guys right here. Now if we're dealing with fractions, to get rid of a fraction, we multiply both sides by the reciprocal. Right, the flipped version, the flipped version of a fraction. So for example, if we look at uh, if we look at number seven right here, uh, the reciprocal of this fraction would be negative five sixths. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative five sixths. This side's kind of gross. Sorry about that, but those will cancel. We're going to be left with k equals. We're going to have twelve over one times negative 5 over 6. So on the top we get negative 60. On the bottom we get 6. And I can actually simplify that further. I can get k equals negative 10. Okay. So that's a little bit of review of what we've been doing uh, last week and the previous week. So now let's try to see how we can do it in two-step equations. So to solve a two-step equation, we're first going to undo the addition and subtraction, okay? Um, and then following that, then we're going to multiply and divide. So it's kind of like the opposite of PEMDAS. So in PEMDAS, you do your multiplication division first, and then you do your addition subtraction. But sticking with the theme of opposites, if I'm going the opposite direction of PEMDAS, I want to add and subtract first, then multiply and divide. Okay, so I'll write this on the side. Maybe this will help you. Uh, we'll call it reverse PEMDAS. If that helps some of you guys out. We're going to look at number 9 and 11, and then I'm going to have you guys try 10 and 12 on your own. So if we're looking at number 9, I have 6x plus 8 equals 50. I'm going to do the addition subtraction first. So the opposite of adding 8 is subtracting 8. So the 8's cancel, and I'm left with 6x equals 50 minus 8, which is 42. And now it's back to multiplication, right? So all we have to do now is think, okay, what's the opposite of multiplying by 6? Divide by 6 to both sides. So the 6 is cancel, and I'm left with x equals 42 divided by 6, which is 7. Okay. But we can also have variables on the other side. It doesn't really matter. The, the point is to get the variable by itself. So again, let's, let's do this. I want to get rid of the addition first. So I'm going to subtract both sides by 9. 13 minus 9 is 4. And that equals negative 4k. And now finally, I divide both sides by negative 4. 
And 4 divided by negative 4 is a negative 1, and that equals k. Now, if your variable's on this side, it really doesn't matter because you can actually write it like this, k equals negative 1, and those are both the same exact thing. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, as long as the equality is in the middle of them. It doesn't really matter which one you put on either side. Okay. So number 10 and 12, I'd like you guys to try those on your own. Give them a go and uh, go. All right, we're back. Let's look at number 10. 2n minus 5 equals 11. I'm going to add 5 first to both sides. I get 2n equals 16. And now I have to divide both sides by 2. And so n is going to equal 8. Number 12, okay? Well, first, I'm going to remove whatever's being added and subtracted. In this case, there's a positive 7. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. I get negative 3y, I have to keep the negative, negative 3y equals uh, 27, and then divide both sides by negative 3, I get y equals 27 divided by negative 3 is negative 9. Okay, so far so good. Um, let's go ahead, let's continue on, and uh, we're going to see how it looks with reciprocals. Because we didn't just go over this for nothing. All right, 13 and 14. Let's look at those together real quick, okay? And then I'll have you guys try 16 and 18 on your own. So with 13, again, it, it's the same idea, right? I'm going to get my addition subtraction handled first. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides. And I get x divided by 2 equals... 16. And uh, to be honest, uh, this isn't really uh, a reciprocal problem, if I'm being honest with you, because this is x divided by 2. The opposite is to multiply both sides by 2. And so we're left with x equals 32. Okay, So we didn't have to do the reciprocal there, even though we technically did because the reciprocal of one half is two, and we multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So kinda, right? Um, 14, we're actually gonna skip that guy. I'd rather look at 15, because 15, this is where we're definitely gonna need to rely on the reciprocal. So I have three fifths x plus 22 equals 28. Again, I'm gonna get rid of my addition, so I'm gonna subtract both sides by 22. And I'm left with 3 fifths x equals 6. And now, get rid of the fraction. I multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is 5 thirds. I'm going to put my 6 over 1 to make it a fraction. These guys cancel, and I'm left with x equals 6 times 5 is 30. 1 times 3 is 3. And then 30 divided by 3 that's x equals 10. Okay? So, again, nothing really different than what we were doing. This time you just have to rely on the reciprocal. So I'd like you guys to try number 16 and 18 on your own. And go. All right, we're back. So, again, we're going to start off with the addition. I'm going to subtract both sides by 1. I'm left with negative 1 third m equals negative 8. The reciprocal of negative 1 third is negative 3, or negative 3 over 1, same thing. Those cancel, and m is going to equal negative 8 times negative 3, which is a positive 24. All right, 18 here. Again, handle my addition subtraction. I'm adding 9 on this side, so I want to subtract both sides by 9. And I'm left with 6 equals negative 1 half x. And now the reciprocal of negative 1 half is negative 2. You can do negative 2 over 1 if you want. Um, these are going to cancel. And I'm left with, uh, on this side, negative 2 times 6 is negative 12, which equals x. There we go. We're done. 
They're a little tricky, but again, uh, as long as your process is the same, you handle the addition subtraction first, um, and then you do your reciprocal, you'll be good to go. All right, now we're going to go to the very bottom, and uh, these ones are tricky. They look intimidating, but again, just like anything we do, if we just see it, it's not going to be too bad. All right, so we're going to try these two together, and I'll let you guys do that one. So it says the examples below are different in that the multiplication division is done first, followed by the addition and subtraction. So what we went over in these first ones doesn't always hold true because now we have this 8 that is dividing both the 11 and the x on this side. So if I move the 11 over by subtracting 11, well, that's not technically correct because the 11 is being divided by that 8 it wouldn't keep my equation balanced, right? So in order to do this, we can treat the top as kind of its own little thing for right now. And if you see something like this, we're going to multiply first, okay? So the opposite of dividing by 8 is multiplying by 8, and we're going to do that to both sides. I'm going to rewrite it. I'm a little cramped, okay? So we're going to multiply both sides by 8, These 8s are going to cancel because they're opposites, and I'm left with x plus 11 equals negative 3 times 8, which is negative 24. And now finally, I have to subtract 11 from both sides. Okay, their signs are the same, so we're going to add them. We're going to get 35, and we're going to keep the same sign, which is a negative. Okay. Let's see it again. Let's see it with 21. This time, we have now flip-flopped the variable and the constant. Again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Because the process is the same. So again, we're going to multiply, because that's the opposite. We're going to multiply both sides by negative 6. Negative 6 is cancel. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. And finally, I have to add both sides by 13. Okay, so the signs are different now, so I have to actually subtract. And I'm going to keep the sign of the bigger number, which was positive. So 13 minus 6 is 7, and it should be a positive 7. So 7 equals A. A. Or just A, whatever. Um, I would like you guys to try number 20 on your own, and go! Alright, we're back. Let's look at this guy right here. Number 20, uh, we're going to multiply both sides by negative 2, because that's the opposite. The negative 2 is on this side. See you later, alligator. We're left with n minus 5 equals negative 7 times negative 2, which is a positive 14. And I add both sides by 5, and so I should get n equals 19. All right. And that's all there is to it for these two-step equations. We're going to move forward, and we're going to get slowly more and more complicated. Okay, so it's very critical that you show your work just like we're doing here, or else eh, you're probably not going to get the right answer if you're trying to do them in your head, okay? So... Just a little sense of encouragement to actually show your work. This is Mr. Knight signing out, and have a great fall intercession.